begin with the much awaited section NCERT class 12th history this history is covered in three themes ancient medieval and modern the first theme the first section that's the first four themes cover the ancient section and then we start with the medieval and finally the modern so the first theme talks about the bricks beads and bones that is mainly the Harappan civilization uh, we would be covering this lecture in two parts so the first thing that we need to understand is the chronology so it starts with paleolithic period followed by Me mesolithic and neolithic where agriculture and pastoralism started and then came the chalcolithic period where the first use of copper was discovered now this copper use was also seen during the harappan civilization we had copper uh, which was similar to the omani copper and both of them had nickel content presence and this was a unique idea between the conf confluence between the two civilizations the next is after the harappan civilization there is the iron and the megalithic burial practices and finally the early historic so harappan culture itself is a very unique culture it is also known as the indus valley civilization the origin owes to the uh, locations in <coughs> the present day pakistan and we do have the <coughs> excavation sites in India as well as pa the present day Pakistan even in the regions of Afghanistan uh, in the regions of Gujarat, Baluchistan, Cholistan which is the Thar desert extension in the regions of Pakistan are the areas where Harappan civilization has been found here is a seal indicating the Harappa uh, culture and this seal is made of statite statite was commonly used now this is a soft material through which seals and were created they contained animal signals and animal motives along with signs um, from the script which is still undeciphered so very very important Harappan script is still not deciphered uh, but yes it has signs and symbols which are present but we are not able to comprehend it so far now this Harappan civilization has been demarcated into the early Harappan and the mature Harappan so we can see this map shows the early Harappan sites and this map shows the mature Harappan sites uh, so early Harappan sites in the regions of Amirnal, Kordorji, Sis Siswal and then we have the locations of uh, Mohanjodaro, Dola Vira in Gujarat Chandhaoro, uh, Chandhura, uh, Chandhudaro uh, is an important location now major difference if I say Chandudaro is only 7 acres of area however Mohanjodaro is around 125 hectares now when the expanse is so vast we understand that Mohanjodaro, Harappa were the major towns however Chand Chandudaro was a relatively small town now again one specific thing about Harappan civilization was the luxuries uh, for example the face Faceans, uh, which is the colored potteries were seen only in the larger settlements like Harappa, Mohanjadaro. However, the smaller towns like Chandhudaro uh, were the areas where utilitarization of things was more important and this is one of the centers where bead making was important. Similarly, in Rajasthan is Kalibangan, known for its black bangles. Now, whole of the Harappan civilization, few important things. Now, mature Harappan civilization occupied most of the regions, as you can see, which were there in the early Harappan civilization. However, both of them shared some common strategies, and these were the kind of cultivation. So, charred grains was the most common thing which was found seeds now what kind of vegetation was done barley wheat um, chickpea lentils in the regions of gujarat millet was grown so those were some of the important towns. now nageshwar and balakot were two important sites which were connected to the ocean route and were also known for shells so shell was a unique thing which was uh, collected here and the things made out of shell were sold within the Harappan civilization as well as traded outside the Harappan civilization. Now some important things about Harappan civilization. Overall there were no extremely large settlements that were found. No large buildings were found. Agriculture was the mainstay. Pastoralism was seen. 
pottery was another important thing and then art and craft now as i said agriculture was a mainstay so most of the land was semi arid so on those semi arid land irrigation was done now the way through which irrigation was done was very different for example in the regions of shortoghai in afghanistan canals were seen but these canals were not seen in the regions of mohenjodaro or harappa water reservoirs were found in dholavira in the regions of gujarat uh, so those are some of the unique things now as i said uh, terracotta made plow have been found they have been found in the regions of banavali in haryana and they have also been found in cholistan as i said cholistan is the region of uh the desert expansion of thar in the region of pakistan now both of they have been associated with the early harappan periods and they also along with kalibanga are known for the plow and the usage of plow uh processing of food uh, was done mainly by grinding equipment so here is a example of saddle kern saddle kern was a grinding instrument that was found and this was found for grinding the cereals there were two versions of it one was the type where grains were being uh, grinded the other was used to grind uh, herbs and spices used for making uh, curries and other things now for grinding this uh, hard igneous gritty rock was taken and then uh, there was hard usage science that means it would not um, easily degrade over time uh, earth or mud was used to prevent in the rocking so this was laid on a structure which was made of earth or mud the idea was it should not move while you are grinding so that is one of the major things and this was called as saddle kern saddle kern a very important term found in the harappan civilization now coming on to one of the major sites which is mohenjodaro mohenjodaro had two centers mohenjodaro is one of the most well known sites however harappa was the first discovered site so note the difference now mohenjodaro usage of baked bricks or sun dried bricks was seen and the bricks that were used were in a standardized ratio that means length was four times the height okay so length was four times the height and the breadth was actually two times the height so this was a kind of structure so it's like this this and this so in the three dimension if this is the height this is length and this is breadth breadth is two times and length is four times as simple as that so as you can see this is the structure that we try to understand now uh, there were two sectors one was the small and higher which was known as citadel the other was the large and lower which was known as the lower town now citadels are at a height and these buildings were constructed on mud brick platforms it was walled that means it was physically separated from the region of lower town and the lower town was also walled however in most uh, of the harappan civilizations we have seen that a smaller high and larger lower side was seen so lower side was usually on the eastern side however the citadel or the higher was side was on the western side variations were seen in dholavira in lothal uh, these settlements we could say were fortified completely and there were sections within the town which was separated and this was uh, another important remarkable feature the next was the calculated move so it was believed that one uh, labor would roughly move a cubic meter of earth on a daily basis and to create structures like this it would require around 4 million a uh, person days of labor that means you can imagine how many people would have been employed to create these structures in mohenjodaro also the next interesting feature is the drain as you can see a person is standing here and this region as you can see is a drain now there were plant drains which were made and these were at right angle to one another also the idea was every house would have an opening towards the street side and the drain the waste would go into the main drain and this would create a seemingly well demarcated structure so macaulay when was studying about 
Harappan civilization found that this is one of the most amazing feature of Mohanjo-daro civilization where all the sites were made of brick. However, the sites which have to be uh, accessed for, for cleaning were made from loose bricks. So that was again an interesting phenomena and whole of the house, all of the houses were emptying their uh, drains and waste into the main line and this main line was um, at interval there were channels which were utilized for cleaning it. The next that comes is the domestic architecture. Now individual houses within Harappa was another interesting feature. So individual houses had a courtyard and around the courtyard there were rooms that were present. Now courtyard was specifically meant for cooking, weaving and all sorts of daily based activities. Again the houses were in two to three stories. The most important thing to maintain privacy was that the lowermost, the ground floor, we can say, had no windows. So no one can actually see what is going on in the ground floor. Windows were available only in the first floor and the second floor. There were stairs which would take you to the second floor and the first floor. Bathrooms were there with paved bricks. Uh, and then uh, the most important feature, again, to maintain the privacy was the main entrance was not having the direct view of the courtyard. So courtyard was the main thing within the domestic structure and when a, once a person is entering the house, the person cannot have a direct view of what is going on in the courtyard. So that was another way to maintain the privacy. Another important feature was wells. These were present in the individual houses and sometimes these wells could be utilized by people who were passing by. Scholars have estimated that within Mohanjodaro itself, there were around 700 wells that have been found so far. The next is citadel. Now, citadel uh, is a very important structure. The the smaller and the higher part of the town and this included warehouse along with the warehouse as you can see this is the structure of the warehouse there is great bath as well and then there is a stupa area so warehouse is a massive structure which was made of lower bricks uh, the lower portion was made of bricks and the upper portion was made of wood Along with it was the Great Bath. Now, Great Bath was a rectangular structure with two entries, one from north and other from south, uh, both leading to the ta uh, tank. And this was uh, a structure where the, the stairs were coming in such a way that they were watertight. They were not affected by the water level and was made of motorar of gypsum and had a durable structure. Now, there were rooms on three sides of the Great Bath and one of them, uh, one of the side was opening into a large well. Then, uh, another important thing is, across the lane to the north, there was uh, the region where uh, smaller buildings with eight bathrooms were seen. Each of them have a corridor and then the drain for each of the bathroom connected to the corridor. So that was another interesting feature that was seen in the structure of Great Bath. So the citadel itself was a very unique structure found within the Harappan civilization, specifically in the studies of Mohanjo-daro. The next is the burial practices. Now the burial practices in Egyptian civilization was glorified. Uh, we talk about huge mummies and uh, the, the pyramids where mummies were kept along with lots of wealth and jewels. However, there was no such glorification in the burial practices in the regions of Harappan civilization. Uh, the dead bodies were laid in pits which were hollowed out and lined with bricks and this was the only thing. Now along with them, uh, the people who were buried were actually wearing some kind of jewelry. This jewelry was worn by both male and female and uh, the excavations from the cemetery, cemetery in uh, Harappa says that ornaments using three shell rings was one of the classic features and jasper beads was another important things that were seen but however there was no grand practices of putting wealth along with the burial practices. The next was classification of utilitarian versus luxuries. So most of the people worked with utilitarian lifestyle uh, in the Harappa civilization. Few luxuries were seen and those were only limited to large settlements not found in small settlements. 
these luxuries were not that great luxuries they were pots of made of faience now faience is a material which is made of sand and silica uh, and then it is fired and then colored so these were colorful uh, pottery materials which were found and that was the only kind of luxury that was talked about uh, the these pots had hoards hoards means jewelries and precious things were put within these pots uh, rare objects were put uh, in these pots however smaller towns like kalibanga uh, chandudaro um, uh, banavali had only presence of utilitarian items the next relates to craft as i said chandudaro uh, is known for bead making shell making metal work seal making weight making however mohanjodaro which was a huge site had no such presence we had seen a beautiful uh, combination of things for example jasper lapis lazuli crystals copper bronze gold pottery faience steatite as some of the material now steatite is a very soft stone uh, the seal of which we saw in the very beginning of the lecture and these could be easily molded so there were numerous beads which were created for jewelry made from steatite now geometrical designs could be created and these creations of geometrical designs were very very unique and they could be created in numerous forms using steatite as one of the material also red color of the carnelian was made possible by firing the yellow raw material and the beads at the various stage of production nodules were then chipped processed grinded and finally uh, through a specialized drills in chandudaro lothal these were uh, seen along with uh, this kind of activity was also seen in dholavira in gujarat nageshwar and balakot two of the places were near to the coast and were known for shell production and uh, things made of shells for example bangles ladles and other uh, objects which were seen there were also large uh, waste pieces which were used to make smaller objects in uh, workable form now where did Harappan civilization procured the material from so shell as i said came from nageshwar and balakot from afghanistan came one of the most valued blue stone which is known as lapis lazuli and this was obtained from shotugai and uh, this lapis lazuli has also seen its presence in the taj mahal in agra uh, we also see uh, carnelian coming from baruch this was near the site of lothal a uh, steatite coming from south rajasthan and north gujarat metals from rajasthan khetri region was known for copper production as i said omani copper was again important both of them had presence of nickel also uh, there were terracotta toys made uh, of which bullock bullock carts were made and this suggested that bullock carts were used during that time as means of transport also riverine routes were used so things were transported through roads by bullock carts through rivers uh, through the coastal routes and also from the uh, the ganga region the alluvial plains the things were coming in from the south uh gold was procured so there was procurement of various things from across the regions and therefore trade and towns and settlement became important now the settlement and establishment of trade and town we would understand in our following lecture